Listen, y'all, crypto gaming has been exploding across the gaming category. This is nothing new. This narrative has been around since 2021, and we believe that gaming is going to bring mass adoption to cryptocurrency. And not only that, it's going to be one of the most explosive sectors. As Citibank says that it is going to be a $13 trillion industry. So we all need to be focused on getting our piece of the pie. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about three reasons why you should be buying all the games right now and why it's not too late. We're going to talk about some things that people do like and what people don't like about Gala Games. And most importantly, why I think it's going to be one of the biggest opportunities in this next run. Now, listen, if this is your first time here, Crypto Cash Flow, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we teach you how to build a wealth, power, and freedom in the future of finance. So that way you can take control of your time, your money, and your resources and live life on your terms. Now, just before we get started, one thing that we have to get out of the way and one thing that we're going to start doing is just saying that this is not financial advice, y'all. Okay. Anything that we talk about in these videos, you need to make sure that you're going back and doing your research. Anybody for anybody for that instance, any YouTuber, TikTok, or anybody that you're watching online, Go back and fact check all of us. Go get the information yourself and make sure that what we're saying is lining up with what is actually real. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and bounce on over here. Let's actually just check out the chart and just see what Gala is at right now. Okay, so we're just sitting at two, just close to about two or six cents, 0 0.02593 right now. If you go over here to the chart, we see that we still have a very, very long way to climb up this thing. Okay. So we're sitting right here. The last all-time high was about 84 cents. And a lot of people are saying that Gala's going to go back to this. Gala may go to a dollar. Gala may just actually blow past this. But is Gala really going to go back to its all-time high? Well, personally, we think that it's going to go back to its all-time high. We think that it's going to absolutely blow past that for a few different reasons. The very first reason is this, is that they are focused extreme, they're extremely focused not on just gaming, but a bunch of different sectors. And that, I guess the one word for it would be entertainment, right? They do games, they do music, they do film, as well as their layer one blockchain. And we're gonna dive into that in just a moment. Now, when the last bull market, Gala went up alone off of just a Coinbase and Binance listing, right? They only had, and I found this uh, a picture right here. This is a document that we put together for node owners back in the day. But they only had three games on the platform, and only one of them was actually live. And Townstar was live at the time, and it actually didn't even have play-to-earn capabilities. People were just bullish on the fact that this game was out. It's play-to-earn gaming. The narrative and the speculation just got out of control. So they have a uh, one live game on the platform. They have Mirandis. Of course, that was being built their most hyped game and most anticipated, I believe, on the platform and also um, Fortify. Now, when this happened, they got listed on, and I can't even remember exa the exact date, right? But they got listed on Coinbase and Binance, and then it just absolutely exploded. And that's what we see right here on the charts. Why so I went up to that 84 cents right there, okay? And then we see that it came on back down because we went into a bull market, all right? Now, if we go back over here, if we go over to the actual Godly Games website, we see some major improvements not only do they have one game on the platform that is playable and then other games listed here right most of these are playable let's just go through them champions arena this is a mobile game on their platform playable eternal Parad uh, paradox this game is actually about to launch playable dragon strike playable right now legacy playable poker go play playable spider tanks playable common ground world used to be known as town star excuse me playable superior Playable, Grit, Playable, Meow Match, Playable, Legends Reborn. Um, I don't think that this one is out just yet. I, I'm pretty sure this was in beta, but they had a beta for it. Playable, Mirandus, Playable, um, Battlestar Galactica. This one is not out of still in development, <coughs> excuse me, but they have it listed here. Um, Mirandus Tavern Games. I believe that is not playable right now, but it's something that they're going to integrate into Mirandus. It's going to be something, I believe, inside of the game itself, right? Um, actually, yeah, it is inside the game because in the last playtest, we were actually able to go over to the Tyrant Games and play that. The Walking Dead Empires, playable. It just came out. Last Expedition. This is an ongoing alpha. And I believe that Gala also said that some of their games are going to be ongoing alphas as they're developing these things. So they have more playable games on the platform. People can get their feet wet inside of there and get a feel for what not just Gala is, but all these developers that are developing on Gala. Echoes of Empire. It's going to be playable here soon. Fortified. I don't know what's going on with this game, to be honest, but it's still in development right now. But I went through all that to say that they're doing things, right? There's tangibles. There's a lot of different projects out there in the space that don't have those tangibles. They have things that they're talking about 
and play tests that should be coming or maybe the games aren't even all that great and just to say this also like all the games out there right now aren't amazing right we're not at ps5 spider-man 2 uh, levels just yet but we're going to get there and when we do have that big hit crypto gaming is just going to absolutely explode and i don't think that all these games have to be that triple a even double a or you know unreal engine type hype i think that they just need to work and honestly and you all can correct me if, uh, if i'm wrong in the comments this is total just like speculation right I believe that there's going to be play to earn, but I believe that the narrative is going to switch more to digital asset ownership, right? Just like it is now in these games. Like, do we really play these games to earn money outside of some of the exceptions like World of Warcraft or RuneScape where, you know, they have black markets where people are farming gold and actually selling it or even in-game items or even accounts. But when we play these games, we're looking to get enjoyment out of it, right? We just want to, let me just turn the screen over for a moment. We just want to enjoy it. We, we buy these games because we put time into it because we just love the gameplay. Simple as that, right? If we get to own some things inside of the game, it's even more awesome because it's a flex inside of these games, right? You buy things in RuneScape. You buy things in World of Warcraft. You get these legendaries and epics and mythic items because it's a flex inside of the game and it also helps you do something. So it's not just about earning off of these games, but is it, am I actually enjoying this game, right? The money that I am putting into it, just like you are on your phone, right? All these different microtransactions that you're making on mobile games, it works just the same way. So I think the narrative is going to change more to digital asset ownership, more than play to earn. And that's going to be somewhat of a subsidiary or a bonus of it, because we've seen a lot of these games go play to earn, right? And a lot of them, the ecosystem just are not sustainable for whatever reason, right? Nobody has that figured out just yet. So that is one reason Gala Games... Uh, right there, they have multiple games on their platform. They've been building. They've been keeping the community hype. They're doing things that are keeping people excited about this opportunity. Now, this is one of the biggest opportunities right here, right now, that we are most excited for, and it's Gala Music. This is something I believe uh, that they launched back in 2022 at their Malta Galaverse event. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> if not, um, but this is huge. So this is decentralized. This is their decentralized music platform. They already have a mobile app and they're going to be launching this before the end of this year, going full launch with their token as well as the platform. So people are going to be able to get songs and earn music, which is what it's going to be called on this platform. You're going to get cryptocurrency rewards for the plays that are being played. I mean, for the songs that are being listened to. If you own one of those tracks, you can host it on a node. And then when that song is played, you'll be rewarded in proportion to how many um, music tokens that this song is pushing out, right? So the songs are pretty much the lifeblood of this platform. The notes are as well because the two just basically don't, the two go hand in hand. They can't exist without each other. It's kind of like crypto and blockchain, right? You need both in order to make the thing work. So if we were to just go through here... This thing has just been an absolute monster. They've been partnering up with different artists. You can see here Snoop Dogg and Jordan Sparks. Um, other artists like Earl Sweatshirt came onto the platform. Some really big notable names. But not only that, they're giving a ton of different indie artists the opportunity to not only make money by selling their songs, but get that exposure. Right? It's a little bit more intimate than Spotify and Apple Music and some of the labels that these artists are signed to because they don't have that type of discretion to connect with their audience in the way that they want to, right? Unless they're on like, you know, their own Instagram or TikTok or something like that. And let me make that make a little bit more sense. If we come over here to the experiences, you will see that you will be able to purchase some of these experiences with your favorite artists. And we need you to think big here, right? Because these artists, they may be indie right now, but who's not to say that they won't go Hollywood and absolutely explode in popularity, right? And become a celebrity of some sort. Imagine you having one of these songs and then that sort of thing happens, right? Just imagine the potential because not only do you get paid, and I believe that this is going to be an ongoing thing. I have to go back and read, <clears throat> but right now they take into consideration like Spotify um, plays as well and take that into consideration when you're getting distribution. So imagine they're going to just like millions and millions and millions and millions of plays, right? And they're coming over here to Gala Music or going to Spotify or wherever and playing that music. And you're being rewarded for that, for being early to this opportunity and believing, which is half of what cryptocurrency is at the end of the day, right? I don't know if any of us know that we're going to make it, but we have pretty good signs and, and breadcrumbs that telling us that cryptocurrency obviously is not going anywhere, right? 
Okay, so this is this is one thing here. This is their music listening platform. Over here, you can come over here to the charts and look at some of the songs that are winning right now. See the rewards that they're getting. Right now, there's not a music token out. So right now, we are earning in beams. Beams are like the temporary reward that you're going to be getting in music that will eventually convert over to the music token. I don't know if it's going to be a one for one or in what ratio that's going to be. I just know that we've been stacking up beams and that we're going to get those beams and they're going to release that token eventually. And then hopefully all of us would just be really happy, right? At that price or whatever that looks like. But overall, outside of just price itself, like they're doing things here, y'all. They're building stuff. They're building competitors and really good competitors within the Web3 space that's going to stand the test of time that I believe. And this is, this is, is man, what's the word for it? I guess I don't even want to say like exotic platform. It's just lit. It's just lit on here. If you don't have an account, go down to the bio, sign up for a Gala Music account, and just play around with this thing. It's amazing. All right, now the third reason that we are bullish on Gala games or Gala in general is because of their Gala film platform too. They have a ton of different um, actors, actors and actresses on this platform. They've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Razor is one of their most anticipated uh, Witch Board is another one that they're going to be coming out with as well. Ghosts of Ruin, this an this is an anime, which I think is just absolutely incredible. I'm going to actually go over here and play this trailer in the background. I'm not going to bring the noise on it because I don't know if it's going to be loud or not. I don't even know if my computer is going to pick it up. I have to I'll put that setting inside of there. But just look at this, y'all. Like, look at this in the background. Like, look at the type of detail and graphic that they're putting into this. Now, this I believe is going to be somewhat of a, like a Ready Player One, or actually, no, what's the one anime? Um, Sword Art Online. That's what I'm really thinking of. A mix of like those two, where they go in, they're actually like, battling each other. They're living in like some sort of like augmented or virtual reality, and it's becoming more and more real. I think that the way that this is going is that they're not going to be able to tell the difference between reality. And what they're actually doing inside of this game, which is crazy. I love anime. A lot of some people were actually able to get their faces digitized into this for owning some of the NFTs. So I'm super excited for this right here. I think the Gala film is just going to be a winner. Last reason, y'all, is this right here Gala Chain. And we really, really, really have to talk about this, y'all. This is Gala's layer one blockchain specific to gaming and I just think that a lot of people are sleeping on this I don't think that a lot of people are aware of what Gala is doing in the background with their layer one blockchain now when I think of layer ones right I'm thinking of stuff like AVAX I'm thinking of stuff like Ethereum I'm thinking of stuff like Solana and so on and I'm th and I'm just looking at what they're doing actually let me just come over here to layer one and go to categories and let's just see what we have so we have Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Cardano, AVAX, DOT, and so on and so on. Cast. Look at the prices on these things though, right? Now I'm not saying that Gala is going to go to these valuations. But what I am saying is that it's going to have that type of utility behind it now where people can come on the platform and build really cool things. We say this all the time in all our videos and we're going to keep repeating this. That Gala doesn't have to be the one to build the thing to make it explode. It only takes one thing to explode on the platform, and it's not just games, music, film. This goes into insurance, healthcare, manufacturing, right? All types of different fields that can build on top of this blockchain. And it just makes me think. I look at all these different decentralized applications on these blockchains. I look at the NFTs that are being built on these blockchains. I look at the different coins that are being launched on these blockchains, right? Did I just say that? If I did, I just repeated myself, whatever. But... I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about the value proposition for that. And I believe that it's just going to bring a lot of utility to their blockchain and a lot of excitement for people that just don't know what's going on. If you haven't checked this out yet, go over to galachain.com and just read through this stuff and just check out what Gala is doing behind the scenes. This is only the beginning of what is to come. Now, we just go back to that first question that we started with, right? Can Gala go back to its all-time high? I absolutely believe that it can. There's a lot of projects. And another reason, actually, this is a bonus. There's a lot of projects. And there's no hate like on these projects like whatsoever, right? But there's a lot of projects that are trying to be like the next Gala. Like Playable, they're trying to be the next Gala and kind of brand, not brand themselves that way. But people try to attach Gala to that. Which makes me think like, why not just buy the real thing, y'all? Just buy Gala. Just buy Gala. But I think there's going to be a lot of winners in this space, and we're going to make videos about these also, right? We just can't discount these projects. 
they're obviously doing well. If we look at the all-time high, or even on the year, it's obviously gone up. If we go over and look at playable, this thing has gone absolutely nutty. Goodness gracious. If we look at the year, this thing is up. It's not even showing me right now, but it's up like 1,600%. Definitely waiting for a pullback for that. Could there be a pullback? Could be no pullback. Could miss that entry, right? Could be a buy right here, right now. Make sure you do your research on these things. But going back to Gala Games, y'all, those are our reasons. Those are three reasons why you should still be on the bull case for Gala Games. Oh, I forgot the one thing that we don't, the, the, the thing that people keep attaching to Gala also, the lawsuit. The lawsuit with Tune the Founders, y'all. Don't think it's a big deal. Literally, if you come over here to Google, like the space, is, I keep spelling it wrong. The space is so small for cryptocurrency that things just get absolutely blown out of proportion and everybody makes a big deal out of it, right? Because mainstream isn't really here just yet. It's not mainstream adopted. It's just a very small space. So we go crazy. But if you type stuff in like this, y'all, come on. PlayStation lawsuit. Boom. 7.9 billion lawsuit against Sony PlayStation. Are people going to freak out over that? No. Are people still going to buy PlayStation 5s? Are people still going to buy their games? Probably. Xbox lawsuit. Let's see. 20 million FTC settlement mic addresses Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Xbox. Are people going to stop buying Xboxes? Are people going to stop, stop liking Microsoft? No. Tesla lawsuit. T all over the place. Amazon lawsuit. You get what I'm saying this? Like all these companies get sued, guys. So don't make a big deal out of these things. Don't let people fudge you out of your bags. Because in the last video that we made about that, and we have to put one out about this as well and just update it. It's just, it's just nonsense. Do your own research. Don't listen to people. Fact check everybody. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Listen, y'all, we opened up a Discord as well. Make sure you go down to the bio and join that Discord. It's called the Crypto Castle Discord. We want you inside of this so that way we can teach you how to build wealth, power, and freedom and keep you consistent so that way you can take more control over your finances, y'all. Let's freaking do this thing. Let's run it up. We'll see you on the next video. See you on the Discord. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.